So you guys ask me all the time, last year, Robbie, what do you use for undercoating? You know, what do you use for rust protecting? What do you recommend? This, that, and the other thing. And I had no idea. I was like, you know what, guys? I don't really know. I would tell you, on my old car, I got, uh, like, the tar-based stuff. On this car, I bought it in September. Didn't do anything to it. I was just like, whatever, it'll be fine. I have regrets about doing that. Believe me, I I wish, too, that I didn't do that. It's a little bit cringy. But, hey, whatever. The, it is what it is. But this year, I decided to go ahead and get the rust proofing done. I got Rust Check, the brand Rust Check. They just use, like, a Rust Check brand uh, oil coating. And they go all over the car. And I know this is going to be a huge, huge question come winter this year see me driving this car because I don't think it's in my budget to get another car unfortunately and this is gonna have to see another winter which is fine to me a car is a car I can do all these things make it really nice beat the crap out of it drive have fun with it but at the end of the day it's still my car and that's what it's built to do it, it's built to get me around and it's built to you know withstand weather conditions and is it gonna last forever if I drive it in the winters all the time no but if I take my best precautions to keep it looking nice I'm sure it'll be fine so I went ahead and I used the rust check oil coating. Um, and now for people that are gonna argue this, that, and the other thing, which is fine, everybody has their own opinions, everybody's entitled to do whatever the hell they want. People just ask me, so I, I made this video just to tell you guys, you know, what I, why I chose what I chose and why I'm doing what I'm doing. I chose that oil coating because I have that experience with the tar, like the, the black, thicker stuff. And I didn't really like it because I feel like once it's on there, it never really comes off. And for a person like me who likes to work on their car, when I would go to do stuff and it was like caked on there really hard and you really just couldn't get it off, um, it was on there for like that. I know, and I know that's the point of it. So if you don't want to work on your car, or whatever, and you just want a product for you, that may be perfect. The, the tar may be unreal, it might do everything you need to do. But for me, it didn't because I want to work on my car. I'm sorry if I'm a little dark. I should be getting some light back. Um, I want to work on my car myself and I want to do these things and I don't want to have to deal with parts being like completely frozen on there, covered in crap, you can't get it off. So I chose this because it's more of an oil base, meaning that it's not necessarily easy to get off. That's the point is it repels water, it repels salt, like it doesn't let your car rust. But at the same time, it's easier for me to get it off if I need to. If I get some engine cleaner, this whole road is like flooded. Um, if I get some engine cleaner and spray it on there and power wash it off, it'll come off just fine. So I decided to go ahead with this because it'll be able for me if I ever want to do, you know, change my coilovers out. I just blast it with some engine cleaner or put some engine cleaner, blast it with the pressure washer and then it's gone. Um, and then I have a clear working space, whereas the tar, you can't really do that. Also, there's like the module that you can get and I chose to not go ahead with the module because I believe they work. I do believe that there's obviously a reason they sell, but I like seeing results. And if I can physically see, there is a layer between the salt on my car and my car, to me, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's working. But when I'm just like, okay, and my car is covered in salt and I'm trusting this little box that I can't see and I don't know. And now some of you guys will probably like, no, I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want them drilling into my car, but they don't have to drill into your car. And that's something that people don't understand. They don't drill all over the place. Most cars that are, you know, sold in the States and Canada, um, they have pre-drilled holes. And surprisingly enough, my BRZ had pre-drilled holes. So on the rocker panels, there was three pop-out things. Um, you pop those out and just go nuts in there. Uh, they can get to your quarter panels through when your door is open. They can get to your rear quarter panels through the trunk. They can get into the trunk. Um, a couple of ways I went just behind like when I showed them I just showed them to go behind the like little piece of carpet that's in the trunk but there's also you know two more little holes for where your wing would go or for where the bolts are for your wing um, access points to the trunk the, I let them drill one hole and that was in my door because I didn't want them taking all this off and I don't want it coming on and off and on and off every year that I have to get it rust proof because I feel like that's just gonna lead to problems not problems but just like early wear you know what I mean like I just I would rather them drill a hole once and then they don't have to go in and out every time take this on and off whatever but other than that they were able to get my whole car they spray under the hood they spray everything front to back upside down the whole car is covered in this stuff and I know it works because I work at dealerships and I see cars come back that are like uh, yeah they're yellow where the oil is but are they rusty absolutely not all I know is that one of the biggest things that you guys were saying when I was like you know you got to do the sprays undercoating whatever in my last video 
you guys were like, no, no, I don't want them drilling into my car. Absolutely don't drill into my car. And the guy that did it, he owns a Z28 Camaro, I think, like a 20, it's new, it's, it's nice. And he didn't drill any holes and he still got everywhere he needed to. Like I said, he just popped the door panel off and any other places that he needed to. But other than that, I would recommend this. That's why I went ahead and did it. So if you guys wanna know, now you know. And when people are asking in the comments, make sure you reference this video back to them because this is just a video for all you guys who always ask. And it cost me 90 bucks. Like for 90 bucks, man, can't you can't go wrong. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just really wanted to tell you guys because I know you were gonna ask a lot, especially come this winter. So I figured I'd preemptively make this video and you guys can tell people to come back and watch this when you see them commenting because they aren't up to date on the videos. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Peace out.